Well, how's it going, guys? So, anyway, so we got kind of an exciting update today. Well, for me, it's exciting anyway. Um, this is my 200th video. So, we, yesterday I was just kind of scrolling through some videos and it dawned on me I hadn't checked on how many videos I had done in quite a while. And I saw I was at 199 videos and I thought, well, you know, why not? Just hit a thousand subscribers and just hit 200 videos. So, I thought that was pretty cool. So I thought I'd just let you guys know. Pretty excited over that. So this video is just to let you guys know that we hit uh, 200 videos and give you an update of what's going on. So what you can kind of look at as far as future, near future happenings. Uh, what what military Chevy's doing here. So um, fall's coming and uh, it's going to start cooling down. So. I'm really working hard on getting this cab painted, um, so I have not been videoing much progress because I just have been putting a ton of time into getting this cab done. Um, my problem is I don't have a lot of time, so my the ton of time I have is basically on the weekends. So I'm going to show you guys in a little bit what's been done to the cab and what's going on with some of the other projects. I had made a few videos and then deleted them because I made them three weeks ago and they just it wouldn't it would have been a waste of time to put them on so anyway um, so right now what I want to do is the giveaway so the giveaway is gonna happen really soon now the giveaway will start on the next video so be watching for that guys I'm gonna leave this video up for a couple weeks um, Today is the 9th, uh, Saturday the 9th, I believe. 9th or 10th, I'm not... Crap. Um, anyway, I, I don't really pay attention to the dates too much, except when I need to. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, what I wanted to do is just kind of show you guys the items. So, we're going to do two items. And one is this 1964-66 um, to 66 Chevy horn button. This is the original horn button that was out of my 64 Chevy C20, the one that had the tree fall on it, and the one that's currently in a million parts. Um, anyway, just give you guys a close look. It's definitely not perfect, but I did polish it up. It's got some spots on it. Um, if you guys did like a an electric polisher, let's get this thing back here, electric polisher and got nice, really hard on it, or maybe some steel wool. I'm not exactly sure how you'd buff off some of the rough spots, but anyway, that's one of them. This is an original piece, so it's a good, good piece right here. Um, so that's one of them. And then the other one is this here old flashlight. This is a uh, Rayovac Sportsman Premium Grade. Uh, this came out of the 76, and I'm unsure of if it works or not, but it even has, I can't say if these are original or not, but I figured I'd throw them in there. The original Energizer batteries in them. <laughs> Who knows? I don't even know if Energizer was made back in the day. But anyway, you'll get the batteries with it. They don't work, but hey. Um, I think I just thought it'd be a little cooler if it had the batteries in it. So, so yeah, that's the second item for the giveaway. So it will be these two items. Give you guys just a closer look. There you go. Rayovac. Sportsman. The lens does have a crack in it. Um... But you know, I'm sure if anyone's interested in it, there you go. It does have a magnet on there. The magnet still is good. So anyway, so that's what's going on. Um, so the giveaway will be the next video. I'm going to redo this, post the items up, and then anyone who leaves a comment on that video will be entered into the drawing. So I'll probably post this. I'll probably let this video run for a couple weeks, and then let's see. By the end of this late this month, which is September, um, I'll post up that video. So I'm going to take a couple week break from video, get this cab done. I'll probably be videoing my progress as I go, and then I'll just wait with those videos. So when you guys hear me talking about the dates, don't worry. It's not like I'm loony. <laughs> it's just those videos are going to be a few weeks, few weeks down the road. Uh, because I want to let this video ride be my last video for a while so that way you guys can see this and know when the giveaway is because you know it'd be cool if more than five or six people commented I'd like to get you know as many people as possible so to get this video out and uh, you know I know there's only two items guys but unfortunately those are really the only 
cool, kind of cool items, I guess. You know, I wanted I wanted to get something decent for you guys where it might be a little more exciting um, and possibly useful. You know, if the right guy gets it, then you know, if you have a if you have a 64 to 66, then you know, might get lucky with the horn button, or if you got anything really, if you got if you like putting stuff on your wall, then hey, the flashlight will be great. So anyway, so um, that's what that. So another thing is, so the the home light zip saw. Um, I really didn't do any video about that. There it is right there. Um, because the chainsaw videos and stuff don't get a whole lot of views, so I don't really waste my time too much on getting those up. I was thinking one of these days I might start another channel specifically on my chainsaw builds because when I'm done with the truck, I'm considering just strictly restoring chainsaws after that. Um, it's really becoming an enjoyable hobby for me, so I'd like to kind of set myself up a small place to do it. Um, life is already starting, so, and, uh, anyway, I won't go into that, but, uh, once the truck's done, I think I'm going to take a break from, uh, restoring trucks for a while, even though this is my only, the first truck I've done. I was considering doing the GMC shortly after, but uh, it's just, it's a lot of work. It takes years, so I don't want to tear the GMC apart and then be stuck in a restoration again so I'll take a break from that I want to go to some smaller stuff because the chainsaws I can I could shoot I could make a chainsaw build last a year if I wanted to you can really get deep into these so I think I'm gonna work on restoring this home light zip saw this winter um, because I got some paint this is a pretty much a perfect match for home light blue so got a couple of cans of these and uh, clear coat so we're going to be probably working on that zip saw this winter um, when the 66's cab is all done and I'm not going to be painting when it's cold. I might, as fall goes, I may keep priming other parts and just getting other parts ready for next year during the springtime to get them painted um, and, and everything. So we'll see. Um, anyway, and then as far as the 850, Macaulay 850 Pro Mac, um, all the parts are painted for that. And right now I'm just waiting on the cylinder from a co-worker. So I'll show you guys that real quick. So anyway, there's all the parts. So it's kind of weird doing this because uh, I'm using an iPad. So I've got the camera turned around <laughs> to, to face me. Anyway, so there's all the parts, guys. I don't know how well you can see those because I'm not doing too well a job. But there you go. So basically, all the parts have been painted um, for the 850. So I'm going to turn this camera around real quick, and we'll show you what's going on with 66. Oh, that's a little better. <laughs> yeah, this uh, iPad has a uh, two cameras on it. You can face this way, or you can have the iPad facing this way and turn the camera around for that way. So it's pretty interesting. But anyway, so uh, last night... I got the cab in uh, the urethane primer. So the whole rest of the cab is in urethane primer. All around, just went and did the whole darn thing. Um, had some problems with getting it to, getting it to uh, spray because up here, the overspray was turning into paint dust and I kept having to wipe it down. So. I got a little ticked off over that, but other than that, we're all good. So I'm hoping no overspray got underneath my plastic or in the interior, but uh, you know, I guess we'll find out. So that's just, that's what's up with that. Uh, as far as getting the motor running, uh, I don't have an update on that yet. We do have everything we need, though. Uh, I need to go and take and modify this little distributor to. I got to basically cut this plate, cut this piece off here and then cut all this off because these little distributors don't fit on that 292 with the side covers I used so yeah that's a little bit of a dilemma but we'll fix that um, actually did I did take the frame out today and got it all cleaned up unfortunately didn't get any footage because I'm sure you guys are a little tired of seeing this <laughs> frame who knows um, but anyway alright well I'm gonna stop blabbering I'm gonna get to work it's time for block sanding. I'm going to block sand to 320. Hopefully get most of it down to 320 tonight. Try and get it to 600 tomorrow. 
and then start shooting on Monday. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you all are having a great, great day. And uh, once again, thank you all so much for subscribing and watching these videos, and listening to my blabber and my builds here and there. And uh, you guys are awesome. And I hope this giveaway that's happening soon will be fun. And hopefully, the two people that get these gifts will be that much happier being subscribed and uh, you know please like comment share I love shout outs I try to give shout outs and I love getting a shout out so if y'all ever want to give me a shout out please I, I love you know I love having shout outs and I'll try and return the favor you know of course y'all with 10,000 subscribers it's kind of hard to return the favor <laughs> but you know hey whatever I can do right so alright guys well I'm going to stop blabbering for the second time, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. So, see ya.